this is into the fire. Okay. I'm so proud to be able to welcome to Into the Fire the heart and soul of Australian women's team, Megan. I'm so hilarious. Shit. Sure. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Megan. Nice to meet you too, LJ. Before we start talking about your cricket, I just wanted to say, I love the way you don't take shit from anyone. <laughs> Seriously, it takes a lot of courage to stand up for what you believe in. When there are so many internet trolls out there, I think you're awesome. Thanks, LJ. I think that's important for everybody. Not take any crap from anybody. There's, Twitter is kind of often a cesspool, but there's some gems in there sometimes too. I don't want to get political here, but seriously, if you're happy, then everyone else should be happy for you and shut up. <laughs> it's the f it's the 21st century for crying out loud. That's great. You're okay. funny. Oh, thanks. Okay, to cricket. You're a gun, a gun. Australia's leading bowler. How good is it sharing the uh, opening bowling with the talented Elise Perry? It's awesome, to be honest. I think uh, we obviously complement each other quite well out there, swinging one, one way and then the other and down the other end. But I think um, something working with Pez, that she makes me often look better than I am. With um, She builds all the dots at one end and I often get the wickets and generally with cricket it goes one way or the other. And um, yeah, luckily for me I've got Lise Perry at the other and helped me out. I'm pretty sure you'd still be good. <laughs> we'll see about that. In your very first game for Australia, you only bowled five overs for 33 runs. Were you worried it could have been your last? Definitely. I didn't think I deserved to be there in the first place. I um, went on that tour thinking I was going to be stirring drinks the whole time and had a knock on my door the night before and suddenly they said I was playing and I probably wasn't prepared to be honest. So I mentally didn't think I was ready to be there and physically I probably wasn't ready either. And um, yeah, I honestly thought that would be my last game for Australia. I thought I was lucky enough to get that second game the, the following day really. But um, yeah, things kind of trolled on from there. Yeah, that's good. Well, thank goodness it wasn't your last. You not only played in 2013 World Cup, you led the wicket-taking, collecting 15 for the tournament. Winning that tournament and leading the bowling must have been a dream. Yeah, I didn't expect to be playing any games while I was there. In fact, before I even got there, I kind of got told that I'll spend probably most of the time on the sidelines and ended up playing every game. So it was kind of a whirlwind experience for me, a little overwhelming at times. I probably didn't take it in and enjoy it as much as I should have, but... Um, yeah, obviously being new on the park kind of helped me get a few wickets there. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you've been a breath of fresh air ever since. My sources tell me you're the jokester of the group. Is that true? <laughs> I'd, I'd say I'm probably uh, partnered with Pricey there, Alex Price for that one, and Sophie Devine. We're kind of the traumatic trio. We, um, we, we get in a little bit of trouble sometimes, but I do like causing a little bit of a scene. I think you've got to enjoy what you're doing, and, and if you do enjoy that, you're probably going to have more success, so you might as well make it fun. Yeah, that's great. You took a hat trick in the Indian Tri-Series, being the first Aussie woman to do so in the 2020. Most would be happy with that, but no, you had to go again and do it. Again, against the West Indies in a one day -er. The first woman in history to do it twice. You can give a bit of a head wobble now if you like. <laughs> that, well, that first game that I got the T20 hat trick with, actually, I didn't know I was on a hat trick, so that probably helped. Generally, when you look at people's hat trick balls, they're often a stinker. You know, you try too hard to get the wicket, so I think that helped me doing it a separate over, and then, oh, the West Indies, I just got lucky. Yeah, I, I don't think you got lucky. That was pretty skillful. You're a great swing bowler, but not just any swing bowler. I saw a video of you, you and you swing it as far as Noah Anderson in the backyard with the tape ball. Yeah, look, I've heard great things about Noah. Um, I've learnt everything that I, I know from him. Um, he kills me every morning, giving me some tips before the game, and he's just a really great bowler. Yes, he is a great bowler. There's a rumour that you asked Meg Lanning how, how you could help Australia with the bat, and she said, don't bat. If you were batting against you as a bowler, would you ever hit it? Probably not. I don't know. I, Meg's quite funny just to muck with, really. Any question Meg gives me, I kind of give her a sarcastic answer. She spends a lot of her life being serious, so I just spend it on the other end of the spectrum with her. Yeah, that sounds fun. You said you've really grown up after the, over the last couple of years. Do you think getting married to your lovely wife has helped that? And does she sh just shake her head when you head out on your skateboard? <laughs> yes, I think Jess has definitely been the rock of my life. Um, it's nice to have someone telling me to pull my head in when I need to. I think growing up I had a father who was very excitable and would just back me to do whatever I wanted, even sometimes when it might not have been the best decision. And Jess is there to be that little voice of reason on my shoulder and, and tell me to rein it in a little bit. Yeah, that's good. 
The strikers are going well this year. It must have been a good feeling around the team at the moment. Who's funnier, you or Alex Price? <laughs> Great feel on the team at the moment. Um, probably Alex Price. I think she's someone who really puts herself out there and is willing to make herself look like a fool in order to make someone else smile. And I think that's an actually really beautiful trait to have in a team. That is a good trait, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds what? like you do. <laughs> What hurt more get what hurt more, getting the piercings or the tattoos? <laughs> the tattoos by far. Piercings aren't permanent, so I don't really mind what I get pierced. I just do it in a spare moment, like none of this was ever really planned. But the tattoos, um, most of them have been pretty painful. I've picked some pretty terrible spots on my body, my feet, my back, my ribs. Um, so really, I've only got the easy ones to go from here, yeah. I think. For the upcoming World Cup, let's challenge you here with a couple of predictions. Who will play you in the final? I think it'll be us and India in the final. Yeah, India are a great team. They've got the wood on us at the moment, yeah. the T20. Who will be the leading wicket taker of the tournament, not including Australia? It's tough. I think Leah Tahu, who is always a big pick in T20 cricket, um, she bowls some pretty good gas. Um, it'll either be that or a spinner, I think. It's going to depend on the wickets they bring up. Depends. Who will be the leading run scorer, Australians excluded? Well, I think Sophie Devine's obviously in some pretty hot form. Um, it's going to be tough coming up against her, but I think Shmini Mandana from India, um, being a left-hander as well, she's kind of a little bit unique and, you know, is turning into an amazing cricketer. Yeah, both of those players are pretty hard. I'll give you a mark out of three after. <laughs> I'll get three. Well, Megan, you're a great character and someone who never shies away from what you believe. Please never change. I love what you do, both on the cricket field and off it. You're a great role model for all young kids my generation. Needs more people like you. However, Megan, there is one thing you need to improve, and that's your celebration. <laughs> I mean, what is the point of being the best player in the world and have a shoot celebration? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. Um, I'm going to give you the best celebration in sport, and I want to see it come out when you take a wicket. It's the end of the fire. <laughs> That's um, I can't say in the moment I'm going to remember to do that, but if I do remember, I'll try. I'll try okay. and do it. Yeah. Do you want to try it together? All right, All right. three, one more time. two, one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, thank you, Megan. You're a great, a true legend, and it's been so great chatting to you. Good luck in the upcoming world. Thanks, LJ. Thank you.